Hi, it's me again. <laughs> and my book, Live an Empowered Life, a 30-Day Journey. And um, it's interesting because I just had a client leave my office and um, talking about anger and uh, death and dying and things like that. And I was noticing how the anger at the death and dying part of her experience was starting to become the thing that was fueling her to finally move forward in her life. And, um, and we talked about was she open and ready to receive uh, whatever good there was that the universe wanted to give her. And there were some blockages. And um, it made me think about my book because I too have been kind of feeling uh, a little blocked in receiving all the all the good stuff that's happening with my book and and uh, people that are actually working the book are beginning to reach out to me and let me know that they're receiving transformation and and that the book I is designed for anyone who wants to really move from what was in their life to a larger potentiality of what their life could be of um, I don't how do I say this it of just becoming more fully yourself more confident more happy more financially well more healthy more you know I mean and who doesn't want more right more of the good stuff in life right but when we're blocking our receptivity it becomes really challenging um, and to receive well that's just redundant but anyway too many R's um, but the thing about the book is that it is written to help you excavate the things that are blocking you your, you know the garbage that's in your head the belief systems that are cultural or were handed to you generationally so that you can begin to receive um, the good stuff that really is just waiting there to pour into you. And so as you get toward the end of the book, Live an Inspired Life, a 30-Day Journey, um, I talk about journey to receptivity. And it requires uh, metaphorically letting go with both hands and trusting that all you are is sufficient enough to draw to you all that you need. And it requires accepting your truth that you are a radiant light of love and always have been. And so many of us don't see that as our truth, that we are loved, that we are loved, that we are valued, that we are valuable, you know? And this one client, when she left, I just, I was kind of stumped because I can see who she is, but she can't see it. And so many of us can't see that inner value. That certainly was my journey, which is why I wrote the book. So I invite you to journey on, journey on with Live an Empowered Life, a 30-day journey. Okay.